Hello beautiful Libra, welcome to my channel Miss Reem Healings, my name is Reem, welcome into your first half of August readings, these are, so I decided to split up the readings, I started feeling guided to do two spreads for each sign, a spiritual growth, healing, journey reading, uh, just to help guide you, bring forth healing and any assistance that you need on your journeys. And I also did a separate spread for your romantic love and any messages that you have regarding soul to soul connections. Um, but I felt like it was too much all in one video so I decided I'm still going to do two spreads for each sign but I'm going to do them in two in separate videos it's just easier for me and I think for the watcher as well so um, this video is going to be for your spiritual growth we're going to look at any healing and guidance that you need on your journey or your transformations. I know there's a lot of transformative energy going around right now, um, collectively, universally, cosmically, a lot of moving pieces, a lot of transitions. Um, this is the Sufi Wisdom Oracle deck. We're going to get a card from here. We're also going to get a card from the uh, Goddess Oracles, and then we'll use the Muse Tarot to do a short spread for you. Um, so Libra, in your last reading, I strongly felt as if you are this beautiful vessel, this beautiful bridge connecting all worlds, really connecting all elements. Um, you, are, you are the magician, you are the master of elements, you are the master of co-creation. And I really felt like as if you were this antenna, this bridge connecting the spiritual and the earthly worlds. So you are either um, clairvoyant, you are a light worker, you're very empathetic, um, you're clairaudient. There's a rainbow bridge that has opened up for you to, um, to articulate divine energies, to articulate cosmic energies, to help guide others. Surrender to the flow of life beyond the ego. Yes. So there's, and here you have surrender with joy. So you have two words here that are sticking out to me that are repetitive in these two images, and they both have this beautiful fluidity to them. So you have one that says surrender to the flow of life, and you have surrender with joy. Achieve greatness through surrender. So it's... <laughs> pretty clear that your message right now is to surrender, to surrender. Happy life, live a less guarded life. Okay, so letting go, if you feel as if, um, I feel you have gift of a gift of freedom, break away from your attachments. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to stop it here. Let's talk about these energies first of all this is sun energy coming through very heavily for you sun energy success joy lots of sun energy coming through here divine masculine energy not female or male gender specific i feel like you're breaking through something libra i feel like you are you're trying to flow you're trying to it's almost like you're free flowing. It's almost like you are really trying to surrender to the changes in your life. But there is something within you that is trying to grasp everything. Maybe you're trying to understand everything. I wouldn't go as far as saying you're trying to control because I don't feel like you are trying to control. I feel like you are just trying to understand what's going on. What are all these changes? What are all these transformations? How can I explain this? What am I going through? And it feels as if the wind wants to take you towards change, towards freedom, towards joy, living a happy life that is less guarded. I also feel like this will tie into your romantic love reading in the next video, where you feel that aspect of your life is somewhat not to say unbearable but not something that you can grasp at this time 
it's almost like there's too much going on that you need to grasp or get a handle on or try to understand but the divine is saying just go with it go with it because when you go with it we will gift you with freedom we are we are trying to gift you with with freedom so once you surrender once you let go that it almost creates an instantaneous um burst of energy that opens up within you that enters or that opens so that new energy can enter or the energy can flow through you ebb and flow you're you're being guided towards joy towards sun here with beyond the ego it's interesting because i love the ego and the ego is really perpetuated as this like this evil villain but the ego is actually quite beautiful the ego is very successful in its own way but the ego has limitations and the ego can only take you so far and that's where your spirit self needs to emerge and take the journey to the next level and i think that's what you are trying to do i feel like you're trying to go to the next level um and there's a lot of uncertainties there's a lot of fear there is a lot of energies that are new and it's almost like what do i do with all of this how do i explain it and the divine is saying trust and surrender and it's easier said than done because i always ask my angels how do i surrender and i'm still trying to figure it out how does one surrender to energy how does one surrender to the flow of life how do we surrender to joy and they're saying be less guarded be less guarded talk to your angels how can i be less guarded show me release expectations okay maybe releasing expectations is one of them not thinking of so much on outcomes i think we also try to under try too hard to explain what's going on when really this journey is all about experiencing it okay surrender there's a lot of beautiful energies coming your way and the divine is saying surrender surrender to them okay so let's get a message from the goddesses and then we'll get into the muse tarot for libra please thank you for libra please this is i just got an image of a flower blossoming here looks like a flower trying to blossom so i feel like you're trying to blossom you're trying to you're trying to evolve you're trying to you know no longer be stuck or in the cocoon but it's comfortable to be in the cocoon that's where you feel the most guarded the most safe the most secure okay we got two wow look at this that's beautiful so you have here the sun and as i mentioned there's so much sun energy here this is sun energy so you have the sun that's gorgeous beautiful energy confirming itself so thank you spirit for that confirmation love that and you have mat truth you have numbers 51 and 30 so 51 uh, reduces to 6 and 30 is 3 63 36 those numbers can resonate with you in any way so here with sun energy as i mentioned before um the sun energy is divine masculine energy this is a high vibration divine masculine energy and with this comes with this truth this is not only enlightenment but I, I say this a lot I say um, when we say love and light light represents truth and not everyone can handle the truth not everyone can handle Sorry. guys I got a call when I was in your video I should put myself on airplane mode 
But as I was saying, not everyone can handle the sun. Not everyone can. The sun illuminates. The sun brings forth enlightenment, power. Truth is also power because... When you stand in your authenticity and in your authentic self and you go with the flow and you surrender and you go beyond the ego, you live spiritually, you live with your heart, you live soulfully, you're the bridge that's connected to the spiritual world as well as the earthly world and then all other worlds because it's not just the earth and the spirit. There's so many different dimensions and galaxies and energies that have yet to be experienced. It's almost like the divine is inviting you because you have the power to hold truth and the sun energy is here to illuminate the way for you. Lots of truths, <laughs> truths being presented to you Libra. So let's get into your tarot. We're going to use the Muse tarot. Let's get three good shuffles here. For Libra, please, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus on their ascension journey. Okay, on their ascension journey, thank you. What do they need to know? Thank you. For Libra, please. The world, cosmos, yes, welcome to the world. You are Libra, you are experiencing a new world. You are seeing the world differently. You're getting your wings. Like I said here, it feels as if there's a flower about to blossom. You're getting out of your cocoon. You're getting ready to flourish. The sun is on your face. The sun is gifting you with life to grow into more and you're ready to experience the world all worlds not just the earth not just the spiritual or the cosmic but there's much more to there's much more to it and look what's staring at the bottom of that awakening i mean it's just all the same energy reiterating itself in these cards now You might feel, I don't know if someone feels chest pain or please, I always say if you're feeling any sort of discomfort, um, please don't just take that as, oh, it's ascension flu or I'm awakening, I'm recalibrating. If you feel like it's something, please go to your doctor. Um, but for some of you, your heart is getting rid of a lot of baggage and things from the past to make room. You're making room, and when you make room, things go, energy goes, and that's also part of surrendering, okay? So it's not holding on to things too tightly anymore. It's about surrendering so that the energy can go, okay? I feel like energy needs to go so that you can experience new things, so that you can awaken and evolve, so that you can blossom into the flower, Blossom into your new self. The moon energy. So you have three major arcanas. You have the world, you have judgment here, which is awakening, and you have the moon. We do have a full moon on August 3rd. You have the empress at the bottom. It, it, you're just, you're experiencing the world differently. I mean, I, I, I feel like I'm repeating myself here. You're experiencing different worlds. Okay, it's not just the earth. It's not just the spiritual, the cosmos. It's the galaxies. It's fairies. It's, you know, different, different beings. It's, it's, it's like you're understanding that there's so much more and that, there has to be more. It can't just be this. And this is what you're recognizing, but you're recognizing your ability to communicate 
to your higher self, to communicate to your spiritual guides, to communicate to the world. What's really interesting here is that you have the sun and you have the moon. So you have divine masculine and you have divine feminine energy. I feel like divine, new divine masculine energy is what's integrating within your body. And I feel like for some of you, you've mastered divine feminine energy because this is very open and receptive. And this energy feels as if it's trying to integrate and take you through another evolution, another, um, another world, trying to move you through to the next level. There's a masterful energy of divine feminine here coming through. Full moon is very important for a lot of people. This full moon is very important on August 3rd. Wow, Ace of Cups. <laughs> Ace of Cups. Self-love, unconditional love, fulfillment. I also mentioned this integration um, with elements and understanding all elements and being the master of elements. And I feel like here with Ace of, Ace of Emotions, it's your, your being this vessel of energy. And it's like you're feeling the energies. You're feeling all of the energies and all of the emotions of all of the world. And it's going through you. You feel it all. And that's why it was so important for you to make room so that you can feel these energies, feel these emotions. And here with Ace of Emotions, this is also surrendering, surrendering to new things. Live a less guarded life. So this is being open. You're, you're getting ready to receive a lot of new information about the world, how to connect, how to communicate with it. And... The divine is saying you can be happy you are happy make the choice today to live a happy life by being less guarded and by being more open so that's your message libra libra on where you are in your spiritual growth right now for the first half of august okay this is what i have for you so I hope you enjoyed. I hope it resonated with you. I'm going to now get ready and do your love spread. Thank you so much and God bless.